Hi everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video today. Uh, this video is going to recommend to you that you use the quick access toolbar to customize your environment in Microsoft Word. Let me give you a couple of examples where this will come in handy. If you notice in the top left hand corner right now, we have a save button, an undo button, and a redo button. And by hitting the save button, all you really do is save the file as it currently is. Now, a lot of times when I'm creating a Word document, there's a, a normal workflow where then I have to turn that thing into a, power, uh, into a PDF, excuse me. And in order to save it as a PDF, I then have to go to File, top left-hand corner. I have to go down to Save As. Then I have to choose the file type or I have to go to export and create a PDF document this way. One way or another, it's going to take me several clicks to be able to get to this choice of being able to create a PDF file. So if I go to my quick access toolbar up here in the top left-hand corner and I go down to where it says more commands, what I can do in more commands is, as you can see over here on the right, this is what my quick access toolbar currently has. But over here on the left, I can use the drop down menu and say, you know, I went into the file tab previously in order to save this thing as a PDF. Let me go into the file tab now and see if I can find the command for saving something as a PDF. So I'll go to a file tab right there. And there is this option here for publish. There it is, as a PDF or an XPS file. So I find this publishes PDF file. I click add here in the middle and click OK. And now not only is there a button immediately at the top of my screen for being able to publish this to a PDF file that I can press, but I, there's also the ability for me to press the Alt key on the keyboard. Notice that when I press the Alt key on the keyboard, Microsoft Word jumps in and assigns not only letters to the different tabs that are at the top of the screen, but numbers to each of the different items that are on the Quick Access Toolbar. And so immediately after adding Publish as a PDF to my Quick Access Toolbar, I could use the keyboard shortcut Alt 5 to get there as quick as possible. Another thing that I'd recommend you take a look at putting onto the Quick Access Toolbar, uh, there's a bunch of stuff under the Insert tab that you probably need to do in your line of work on a regular basis uh, that would normally take a few clicks to get there. For example, inserting tables, right? Inserting a table requires you to go to the Insert tab, then go to the Table drop-down menu and find the size, the dimension of the table you want to insert. Now, because I can actually see this, I can right click directly onto the entry for table here and choose to add that immediately to the quick access toolbar. As you can see, that little insert table button goes right there. I can hit the drop down menu on that right there now, but I can also again use Alt 6 and immediately choose the size of the table that I want to add. Now lastly, I'd recommend that you take a look at using Quick Parts. Specifically, under Quick Parts, there's this option called Auto Text. And effectively, you can select anything at all and save it as Auto Text in Microsoft Word. Let me give you an example here. I'll just go ahead and say that this paragraph right here, this little snippet of text, is a really important chunk of text in my business that we are constantly adding this chunk of text. Maybe it's a disclaimer, maybe it's a description of some kind. And so I always have to retype it or I have to copy and paste it from someplace else. But by going to the Insert tab up at the top of the screen, going to Quick Parts, and going into auto text, I can save what I've got selected right now into what's called the auto text gallery. And that simply allows me, so this will be um, interesting snippet, right? So you'd give it a good name here. Click OK. Now at any point that I need to insert that little chunk of text, I can simply go to my insert tab go to the Quick Parts drop-down menu, go to Auto Text, and I can add that interesting snippet by choosing that option, which is nice, don't get me wrong. But the fact that I have to go to the Insert tab, find Quick Parts, hit the drop-down menu, go to Auto Text, and then find it, that's too many clicks, that's too much hunting. So instead, I'm just going to right-click right on Auto Text, hit Add it to the Quick Access Toolbar, 
And notice right there, now my auto text options are available at one click, or as we saw earlier, Alt and now seven. And just like that, I can add these little chunks of content simply by hitting enter. And there's my new disclaimer added to the document quickly and easily. The quick access toolbar is far too underutilized by people in the real world these days. Make sure you take a look at the different types of tools that you use on a regular basis and start sticking them on the quick access toolbar for ease of access. <laughs>